on Netflix, I caught The Addams Family from 1991. This is the, uh, do you want to call it a reboot? You know, cinema reboot. Taking what was a comic strip. I didn't realize it was a comic strip from the 30s. And like the New Yorker, this guy Charles Adams had this kooky comic strip family into weird macabre stuff. Uh, and then they had a TV show. I always thought Adams Family was like a ripoff of the Munsters, but it's actually quite different. Because the Munsters were like a normally family here, and yeah, I'm gonna have to grow the man bun a little bit more, I realize it. The Munsters were like a normal family that happened to be monsters. Frankenstein, vampire, Dracula stuff, wolf boy, hot teenage chick. Hot teenage chick is definitely a monster. In this case, it's not like that. This is a strange family. They've got a mansion. Movie starts out, there's these Christmas carolers. I didn't really care for this part because Christmas carolers face the house when they're singing. Why were they facing the street? I, I never seen that. But they don't want to hear the Christmas stuff. They've got tar they're gonna boil and drop on them. And you get the Adam's Family song, do 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 My fingers are wet. So, yeah, it's, it's working this angle. I think the Brady Bunch tried to rip this off in some way, 95. Uh, you're probably thinking, hey, it looks a little Tim Burton-like. Well, he was the original director of choice. This guy, Barry Sonfeld, got in. What has he made? Men in Black. So it has this kind of weird kookiness to it. And you see some of that in Men in Black, too. Uh, anyhow, Gomez Adams, played by Raul Julia, Really a good performance here. You know, I guess they they saw this, thought we need that for M. Bison in Street Fighter. Uh, I really like Morticia here, Angelica Houston, and a lot of the jokes I thought were very good, even if the subject matters changed. Like they go to the kid's school. Oh, hey, we asked the kids to draw their heroes. She wants to be Jane Pauley. Oh, well, have you talked to her parents? Like, uh, like, there's something wrong with her for picking a, a news lady. But the kids are into weird stuff. Christina Ricci's great as a child actress here. I think this is her big breakout role. I think she's in Beaches before this. But this was breakout for her. Uh, I like points where she has her her brother Pugsley in this lecture chair. Oh, hey, we're going to play a game. What's the game called? Is there a god? <laughs> Just the way she did stuff was cute. She's like 11 here. I didn't get that vibe. She looks about 6 to 8. You know, when I'd seen this back in the day, I figured she was younger than me. Because I was one old looking kid in 91. I know in the summer of 92, I went to Six Flags over Texas. They had this, oh, well, guess your age kind of deal. Good luck. They thought I was 16. Nope. I'm 8. So, yeah, so, uh, was I eight? I might have been seven. So anyways, uh, it, I like the humor in this. The humor worked for me. Uh, we have, the plot is, there's this greedy lawyer who's trying to get money from the Adams. He knows they have a vault somewhere. They're loaded. They only pay the monthly expenses. He shows up there every month, he just gets monthly expenses. Then this guy, shows up, he's this thug, led by his mom. I guess the lawyer had some kind of loan shark situation. And so he's like, hey, you know, they got this long lost brother they've been looking for. Your son looks just like him. Oh really, okay. We'll shave his head, call him Uncle Fester. You guys show up, you'll be his doctor. Uh, he'll tell you everything. He'll tell you where all the money is, all this. And they work that for a little bit. They even say, oh, hey, Fester's older. He has the house. There's a restraining order. You guys can't come near the house. You know, they pull this over on him and uh, kick him out on the streets. They have a nice little moment there where the kids are selling lemonade. And this girl walks by. Hey, I'll buy some lemonade. Buy some of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. they made with real lemon. Are those made with real Girl Scouts? Just kind of freaks her out. And then there's this reaction shot that plays like you would see in a meme. This movie predates that kind of internet humor and it feels fresh still. You know, I enjoyed this. 
uh, eventually they uh, find out that Fester is being lied to. That really is the real Uncle Fester. I guess this came late in the script because uh, they just they didn't want him to really be an imposter. Says, "Oh yeah, he really did get found in the Bermuda Triangle. How convenient." Uh, you know they they uh, best the rivals here, and the family's reunited. Adam's Family Values follows us up in like '93. That used to be on Netflix. Now it's not. Thanks for showing a whole collection, Netflix. So I'm not going to be reviewing that anytime soon. But I give Adam's Family three out of four stars.